Hello and welcome to my presentation. Today I will be talking about gender differences in eyewitness testimony. So for my final project, I really wanted to focus on um, integrating both law and psychology. So I decided to do eyewitness testimony. Um, I find it really fascinating that uh, people can witness the same event, but recall different details. And so I was like, well, I can, that can be my final project. Um, so my introduction. So false eyewitness testimonies, um, to some extent, are the primary reasons why there are an increase in false verdicts. Um, I think that courts do rely a little too heavily on eyewitness testimonies, um, even though there are uh, research out there that suggests memory can be distorted and that a person can believe that what they are saying is true when it's really not. Um, and so for my topic, I really wanted to focus more on gender and how both um, men and women differ when recalling uh, details. So my general findings. So in the literature, I found that men were more confident in their ability to identify both, both the victim and the assailant. Um, men were actually better at recalling details of a violent crime than say a petty theft. Um, also, um, gender differences were more um, apparent when participants were describing the victim and the assailant. So men um, gave fewer details when um, recalling the victim's appearance, whereas women were better at describing members of their own sex. And women um, did better in remembering uh, male and female faces. So this was regardless of the age and the ethnicity of the faces. So no matter what the ethnicity or the age of the faces were, they were better at remembering um, details than men. Also, women had an advantage over uh, men when remembering appearances, and this can be um, this could be because women report a higher interest. Um, in clothing than men, and also women tend to um, rate and, 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 and examine their physical appearance much more than men. Um, but women were less accurate at recalling male-oriented items than female-oriented items. So my hypothesis was women would be more likely to remember details of a crime they witnessed than men. So a total of 84 people participated in my study, um, 55 of them were women and 32 of them were men. Um, the About 56% were Black or African American, and then 7% were Hispanic or Latinx, 20% were White or Caucasian, and 3% were Native American or uh, Alaskan Native. And then the ages range from 18 to 64 years old. Um, the highest level of schooling um, I actually found this quite interesting. Uh, about 39% had some college but no degree, and then 27% um, had associate's degree, and 20% had bachelor's degree. So um, a lot of high level um, of education of people who participated in my study, which was very, very fascinating. The materials include a short two minute video um, showing a woman coming, walking in a park, um, getting ready to sit on a bench. She had uh, food and a magazine in her hand. And uh, just as she was sitting down, um, a jogger was jogging past her. He sprained his ankle and she got up and helped him. And then um, another jogger came in the, in the video and helped both of them. And while all their backs were turned, a woman um, stole her purse without her knowing. Um, and then a questionnaire consisting of uh, 28 questions. Four of them were demographic and 24 were based on the video. The questions were broken up into three parts. So the first part was describing the appearance of the assailant. The second part was describing the appearance of the victim. And the third part was describing the setting and the surrounding scene. 
So here are three examples of the questions within each section. So the first question was, what did the thief steal from the victim? This was a question within the setting and surrounding scene. Um, the one at the top is, what color was the thief's hair? This was um, a question based on the assailant's appearance. And then the last question was, did the victim have short, medium, or long hair? And this was a question that was included within the appearance of the victim. So my design and procedure. So first participants were provided with the consent form. After they agreed um, to participating, they were asked to answer demographic questions. And then after they were taken to another page where they were asked if you were to witness a crime, how well could you remember the details? And interestingly enough, a lot of people um, rated themselves pretty high with being able to remember um, details if they were to witness a crime. And then after, they were directed to a two minute video. And when the video was finished, they had to answer questions based on the video. And once finished, participants were thanked and UV students were um, directed to a different page for research credit. So the data was collected and was exported from Qualtrics to SPSS. Um, each of the variables were recoded. So depending on if um, the answer was correct, they would get a one. And any of the other incorrect answers would get a zero. So when it was recoded, the ones meant that they got the answer correct and zero meant that they didn't. And so my dependent variable was the number um, people got right. So to determine if there is a difference between men and women, I ran an independent samples t-test, which is used to compare um, means from two different groups. And these are the results. So as you can see, um, they really didn't differ between, um, bet between scores. So females were a bit higher than males, but not that much. Um, females had 17.03 and males had 16.03. So my results showed that there was no significant difference in the scores for women and men. As I stated earlier, the purpose of the study was to examine if gender has an effect on the accuracy of eyewitness testimony. I had predicted that women would be more likely than men to remember details of a crime they witnessed. However, the data showed that there was no significant difference between men and women. Um, I think the reason why women scored a bit higher than men was because 15 out of the 24 questions were about the physical appearance of both the victim and the assailant. And previously, we know that females are better at describing not only members of their own sex, but they also pay attention to more female-oriented items and physical appearance. Um, another reason I think that both groups scored pretty high was because of confidence level. Um, usually, uh, high eyewitness confidence is a strong predictor of accuracy. So when I asked the question, if you were to witness a crime, how well do you think you would remember it? And a lot of participants had answered that they would do moderately well to very well. That was also a predictor of how they scored so high. There were some limitations within my study. The sample size was small with only 87 participants. Um, more women participated in my study than men. And also some of the questions could have been um, interpreted differently to some of the participants. So for example, what was the height of the thief? Um, one person can say, well, the thief was short. And another person can say, well, the thief was average, but they're, they're, what they define as short is different than what the other person, person defines as average. So I think that the questions could have been worded a bit differently. Future directions. So other variables to consider. So cultural differences. 
um, one of the articles I found was that people tend to recognize uh, faces from their own race better than um, from other races. And then also, um, individuals had recalled more correct details when the crime was in a place that was in their native setting. And also the severity of the crime, um, it would have been interesting to see um, how, uh, if the crime was more severe, would the participants have um, remembered more details? And also detail-oriented versus non-detailed-oriented jobs. Um, it would be interesting to see if a if people who work in um, more detail-oriented um, jobs can remember um, can remember more more information of about what they witnessed than someone who is in a non-detail-oriented job. And that is the end of my presentation. Um, thank you so much. I would like to thank my professors. I would like to thank everyone who had a hand in helping me with uh, creating my uh, topic. Thank you very much and have a nice day.